My name is Rowie and I'm a free diving instructor. Ever since I was a child, I loved turtles, sea or land. And ever since I became a diving instructor, I encountered hundreds of turtles. And still, after hundreds of encounters, every single time I meet this elegant, majestic creature, my heart fills with joy and excitement, with peace and overwhelming tranquility. But I had one encounter I will never forget. So this is my story of a magical afternoon in one of the most beautiful tropical islands in the world, where I had the opportunity to actually bond with the sea turtle. It all started on a regular free diving session with my students Gob and Gift. Gift is a former Thai supermodel, by the way. We jumped into the water and we saw a turtle eating a dead jellyfish. As soon as we got close, the turtle ran away, swimming towards our buoy. But when we followed the turtle all the way to the buoy and got further away from the dead jellyfish, the turtle made a U-turn and went back to eating it. Obviously, he wanted to eat the jellyfish but wasn't comfortable with our company. He kept taking the jellyfish deeper, away from us, so we can't get too close to him. and he went to the other side of the boat to try to get away from us. We started playing catch. I had to duck dive to get this really beautiful footage of him. When I had to duck dive again, and again, And again. And again. And I was tired of duck diving. And then I thought, how can I make the turtle feel more comfortable with us? I remember the post of the guy who cuddles with lions where he actually pretended to drink from a pond to make himself part of the pride. So I thought, I'm going to eat the jellyfish. Well, not really eat it, but pretend to eat it. As soon as I did this, the behavior of the turtle completely changed. He wasn't uncomfortable with us anymore. He brought the jellyfish to the surface and he came really close to us. It felt he was giving me the jellyfish, as if he wanted to share his meal with me. He was waiting for me to grab the jellyfish and hand feed him and eat the jellyfish together with him. It was incredible. Whenever I took my head out of the water, so did he. I didn't realize it back then, but I realized it towards the end of the video where I explain why he does it. Notice that even as I turn the way, he turns towards me and he's waiting for me to bring him the jellyfish. Okay. 
At this point, I don't even need to grab the jellyfish. He's bringing it to me. The turtle became comfortable with my students also, and I was able to get really cool footage of them with the turtles. They were so happy. And this is why freediving is so special. With freediving you become just another non-threatening marine creature in the ocean, allowing you to have close encounters and form special connections with all marine life. This is a type of intimacy you cannot get while scuba diving. And don't get me wrong, I'm a scuba diver myself. But with the cumbersome equipment and with the noisy bubbles, you just can't get so close to marine life like this. If you are watching this video so far, it means you enjoyed, so please take a moment to show the turtle some love and press the like button. Also, I recommend you stay until the end of the video because something incredible happened and the best parts are yet to come. The turtle seems very easy to be near us and he touched us while swimming and eating. My students wanted to express some love back and they tried to gently pat the turtle, but I marked them not to and they stopped. It was the first time they were in the water and they didn't know you should never purposely touch a marine life. You can infect them with human bacteria that can be very detrimental to their health. The turtle became very comfortable with us and you have no idea how rare it is. Usually turtles run away when they see human tourists. They don't like to play with us. They don't like to take selfie with us. They don't eat with humans or let alone comfortable with humans touching them. My students didn't understand how special this moment was until I told them later on the boat. And we were so lucky to get this incredible footage. We were eating the jellyfish for a long time together, about 30 minutes. It's a pretty big jellyfish after all. It was an amazing experience. I continued to pretend I was eating the jellyfish just to make the turtle more comfortable. But I never expected to what happened next. Then something happened and suddenly the turtle stopped eating the jellyfish and went away. And I thought, well, I guess he's full. It's a pretty big jellyfish after all. Hey, hey, turtle, where are you going? Your jellyfish is right here. You didn't finish your meal. But then I noticed a second turtle was approaching and our turtle swam directly at him. The turtles interacted with each other. They did some kind of a dance. If you have any idea what they are doing and what they are communicating about, I would love to hear it in the comments below, even if you are just guessing. And then our turtle came back while the new turtle ran away. And he came back directly to me to eat with me. 
I'm not sure what really happened, but probably one of two things. Either our turtle invited his mate to eat the jellyfish, but unlike our turtle, she or she was afraid to get near us humans. Or the second option, our turtle considered the other turtle a competitor and scared it away. Either way, more for our turtle and I was so happy he came back. For over an hour and a half, I ate the jellyfish together with the turtle. I was end feeding him the jellyfish, like a puppy. And occasionally, I would pretend to be eating the jellyfish. He thinks I'm eating with him, so he's not afraid. By the way, the jellyfish thing was so painful, and it's even painful now a few days after, but it was worth it. No pain, no gain, no guts, no glory. And I really feel that the turtle and I became buddies and bonded. But how can I be so sure it was reciprocal and the turtle felt the same way? When the jellyfish was completely eaten and nothing remained, I noticed we were far away from the boat. Not only the turtle didn't run away, but look what happened. The turtle take his head out of the water. It's normal behavior, right? After all, a turtle needs to breathe just like us humans. Then I took my head out of the water and look, he takes his head out of the water again, only 10 seconds after. I don't know if you know, but turtles are the best free divers in the world, or the best static free divers in the world to be more accurate. They can hold their breath for hours. This guy wasn't taking his head the second time to breathe. He was following me. He was mimicking me. He wanted to see what I'm doing when I take my head out of the water. Every time I took my head out, so did he. How cute is this? But it was already late and it was time to say goodbye. The turtle came closer to get some love and I waved him goodbye. Goodbye little turtle, goodbye, I will miss you. The turtle followed me all the way to the boat. He didn't leave me alone. It was a beautiful experience I will never forget and luckily I have it all on camera. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more cool content like this, please subscribe and follow. Oh my god, the turtle follows! <laughs> we just had the jellyfish salad with the turtle, it was amazing, we really bonded. <laughs> Can you feel on my hand, it stings!